you are having continuous dancer faults or film tracking issues, it may be worth it to check out your accumulator setup. Hello, Elijah here from Viking Masic Packaging Technologies with another quick tip video. Today I will show you how to set up the film spindle brake and accumulator assembly on an M-series vertical form fill seal machine. Setting up the accumulator should not be something that you need to do constantly. However, if you're always having film tracking problems, or if your machine is continuously having dancer open or dancer closed faults, check out your accumulator setup. This video is also a helpful reference for setting up the accumulator on other machines in our lineup that use Allen Bradley control systems such as the ST series, the S series, and our ES400 sanitary machines. Although those machines may not have an exact match to the contents of this video, they use similar film accumulator systems. Check out our website, vikingmasic.com, for more information about these machines. All right, with that said, and before we get into the fun stuff, take a moment to hit pause and read our safety notice. Use caution and suitable safety practices while working on the machine. Working on the machine can be dangerous, do not hurt yourself or anybody else. Now, let's get to it. M250 Accumulator Overview. The M-Series Accumulator Assembly consists of a set of stationary rollers, a set of moving dancer rollers, a dancer position sensor, and a dancer position cam. On the M-Series machine, the accumulator's dancer is connected to the film spindle brake by a control arm and an adjustable spring mechanism. As the film is pulled through the machine, film tension causes the dancer rollers to move up and down, which causes the accumulator to fill or empty with film. As the dancer swings up and down, it pushes the control arm to raise and lower the spindle brake. The dancer position sensor and dancer position cam read the position of the dancer and how much film is in the accumulator. The machine powers the unwind motor to turn faster to fill the accumulator with film or slower to let the accumulator empty. To properly set up the accumulator, it's important to identify when the accumulator is full and when the accumulator is empty. When the accumulator is in the 100% or full position, it has accumulated the set maximum amount of film. The dancer rollers are in their lowest position and the film spindle brake engages the spindle roller to stop any residual momentum of the film. The unwind motor slows to a stop at this position. The accumulator is in the 0% or empty position when the dancer rollers rise to their highest set position. At this position, the accumulator holds the minimum set amount of film and the spindle brake lifts to its highest position. If reaching this position in normal operation, the unwind motor runs at its fastest speed to refill the accumulator with film. Setting up the spindle brake is important for proper brake engagement timing and brake pressure. The brake slows or stops the residual momentum in the film roll as it's unwound and can prevent slack from forming around the film roll and possibly falling onto the floor if the accumulator becomes totally full. For an M-Series machine, loosen the clamping collars on the control arm to adjust the position of the upper or lower control arm springs. The position of the springs affects the engagement timing and pressure of the film spindle brake. Adjust the position of the springs so the brake lowers onto the spindle rotor when the accumulator is in the full 100% position. Adjust the springs so the brake rises off the spindle roller when the accumulator begins to empty. 
Do not set the springs so the brake locks in the up position when the accumulator is empty. Some machine types, such as the ST series stick pack machines and the S series, use a pneumatic film spindle brake. For these machine types, the brake is always on. An air pressure regulator controls the amount of air pressure sent to the brake's pneumatic cylinder. Turn the dial on the regulator to increase or decrease braking pressure. The pressure needed for your machine will vary dependent on your machine type and its application. The machine uses the dancer position sensor to read the position of the dancer. It monitors the gap between the sensor and the dancer position cam. The machine uses the feedback from the sensor to tell how much film is in the accumulator and uses this feedback to adjust the speed of the unwind motor. The machine uses the unwind motor to feed film into the accumulator and keep it at the set run position dependent on the sensed position of the dancer and the defined accumulator set points. Ensure that the end of the dancer position sensor never touches the end of the dancer position cam during operation. If this happens, adjust the dancer position sensor to create a larger gap. Defining the accumulator set points. For the unwind motor to feed the film into the machine at the proper rate, it is essential to define the accumulator set points. Use the human machine interface to define when the dancer position sensor reads that the accumulator is full and when the accumulator is empty. Use the following directions to define the accumulator set points. Step one, using the HMI, touch the unwind icon. Step two, using the unwind menu, select Dancer Setup. Step three, physically move the dancer to the position where you want the dancer position sensor to read that the accumulator is full. Touch the accumulator full button on the HMI to create the set point that tells the machine when the accumulator is full. Step four, Physically move the dancer to the position where you want the dancer position sensor to read that the accumulator is empty. Touch the accumulator empty button on the HMI to create the set point that tells the machine when the accumulator is empty. Step five, exit out of the unwind dancer setup menu by pressing the X in the top right corner. Step six, Set the desired accumulator run position percentage. At a setting of 50%, the machine will run the unwind motor to keep the dancer halfway between the set full and set empty positions. During operation, if the dancer moves below the accumulator set full position, a dancer open fault will occur. If the dancer moves above the accumulator set empty position, a dancer closed fault will occur. Well, that's how you set up the accumulator. I hope this video helps you get the best out of your Viking Masic machine. Until next time, enjoy life and happy packaging.